my name is Sister Rhoda. My sisters here and I are daughters of charity of St. Vincent de Paul. On this occasion of celebration of all the consecrated men and women of the church, I will talk about the importance of the Catholic Church in the life of the church as daughters of charity. The Daughters of Charity were founded by St. Vincent de Paul and St. Louis de Mariac in France in the year 1633. Deeply concerned with the poverty and suffering surrounding them, they brought together a group of young women who shared their dedication of helping the poor and the sick. These women who form, formed the Company of Daughters of Charity served together in responding to the needs of the time in the streets of Paris. They set up soup kitchens, organized community hospitals, established schools and homes for orphaned children, offered job training, taught the young to read and write, and improved prison conditions. During this time, all the religious communities were cloistered in monasteries, that is, that, that, was, that of women. Daughters of Charity was the first congregation to begin active works among the poor, in the streets and in their homes. This, is, this new way of following Christ was something innovative in the church. The Daughters of Charity have since spread all over the world, establishing charity services to respond to the unique needs of those countries. And as of 31st December 2020, we were more than 12,800 sisters in the community. We are serving the poor in 96 countries worldwide. Relying on divine providence, the Daughters of Charity arrived in Kenya in 2002. They have been working with rural and urban poor communities in Kenya. They have developed five key service areas in Nairobi, Kiambu, Kitui, Transoya, and West Pokot counties, and run a variety of projects from these sites. These services range from healthcare education, income generating, training, and social services. In all of this, they focus on the poorest. That is the farthest behind first. Daughters of Charity are called to serve Jesus Christ in the person of those who are poor and marginalized with a spirit of simplicity, humility, and charity. Motivated by the love of Christ and sustained by a deep prayer life, they live together in community, supporting one another in their common mission of service. Service which addresses the person in all human and spiritual dimensions. In their life of prayer and service, they contemplate Jesus Christ, source and model of all charity, to be witnesses to his love for those who, who are poor. Christ is for them the source from which flows their life, their love, the fire which stimulates their actions and moves them to go toward those who are poorest, the force which energizes their projects, the treasure which gives sense to their lives. St. Vincent once said, as it was not then what it is now, there is reason to believe that it is still not what it, it will be when God has perfected as it, it as he wants. These words of St. Vincent still apply today. The Congregation of Daughters of Charity still needs more vocations that will be molded and transformed to continue with this work of God through St. Vincent and Louise, and through the many sisters who have served the poor, the poor in the congregation throughout, throughout history of close to 390 years. I'd like to pose a few questions to young women. 
Are you ready to continue this work of doing what the Son of God did here on earth? Are you willing to get dirty, walking in the streets and slums and villages to visit people living in poverty? Are you willing to take up the challenge of leading a simple life in community amid a global culture of consumerism and individualism? If you answer yes to any of these questions, please continue in the, fall, in the next set of criteria. If you are a Catholic woman of age between 21 and 30, completed secondary school education with a mean grade of C, had, has had a college or university training, or had work experience after Form 4, kindly contact us on 0721-8138. 0721-8138-63. You can also follow us on Facebook, Daughters of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul, Mission of Kenya. We also have our website. Um, it's uh, phyllisdelacharite.org. And here with me, I have uh, my sisters, including novices, we, we are going to sing a song that in a way describes our services and the spirit that guides us. It says um, in the chorus, you gave me life, you gave me love. Now let me love as, so that others might live. And this is what all the daughters of charity try to do. And I believe all the consecrated men that God has given us life and he has given us love. So we live, we love so that others might live. Welcome. Thank you so much. Let's clap the room for a very nice swing for the daughters. We would like now to get a performance.